Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. In this video, we'll discuss the second problem of lead code by weekly contest 81. Uh, the problem name is count unreachable pair of nodes uh, in an undirected graph. Uh, it's a medium level problem. So the problem says that you are given an integer n. There is an undirected graph with n nodes numbered from 0 to n minus 1. You are also given a 2D integer array edges where edges of i equals to ai comma bi denoting that there exists uh, an undirected edge connecting node ai and di. Now we need to return the number of pairs of different nodes that are unreachable from each other. Okay. Now if we look into the example, so we can see in the first example 0, 1 and 2. So 0 is connected to 1, 0 is connected to 2 and 1 is connected to 2. So overall the graph is represented in the diagram. So all the edges are connecting, uh, connected to other edges. So uh, that the total number of disconnected edge, uh, nodes will be 0 in this case. Let's look into the second example. So here we can see based on the edges if we make the graph then it will look something like as seen in the diagram. Okay. Now, uh, how many pairs exist? So if you look into the problem, so the first cycle that is 0, 2, 4 and 5, that basically forms a connected component, right? Similarly, 3 forms a connected component just having one node and 1 and 6 form a connected component. So total we have 3 connected components. Now all the nodes in a particular connected component will obviously be connected to the other nodes in that component, right? So what's the approach here if, if you look into this if i try to explain you with the help of a diagram so uh, what 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 this means is so we have a graph like zero we have two we have five we have four so this is this is connected right then we have a node three and then we have one and six okay so this is something like uh, the question says now if we look into this so what it says we need to find the total pair now see 0 is connected to 2 it is connected to 5 it is connected to 4 but it is not connected to 3 1 and 6 right so if i talk about 0 so how many pairs are being formed with which 0 is not connected so it is equal to the total number of nodes that is n minus the number of nodes present in this particular connected component in which 0 lies so it is n minus 4 so that means total number of nodes are 7 right uh, total number of nodes sorry uh, total number of nodes are 7 if i remove it so total number of nodes are 7 uh, how many nodes lie in this connected component it is 4 so total number of nodes which are not connected is 3 this this is 3 into into so for 0 it will be just 1 so okay total we have 3 pairs with 0 now similarly for 2 also we will have 3 pairs 3, 1 and 6, right? So again, it will be 3 into 1. In short, for, for these four nodes, how many values will be present? So total number of nodes that we have in this connected component is 4 into how many nodes are not present here? It is 3. So it will be 12, meaning 0 will form 3 pairs, 2 will form 3 pairs, 5 will form 3 pairs and 4 will form 3 pairs. So total 12 pairs will be formed, okay? Now, um, just a second if, if we if we talk about the other pairs okay now let's talk about three now again sorry suppose i make it three now three is not connected to anyone right so based on same logic three can make a pair with one it can make a pair with six it can make a pair with zero two five and four right so again using the same logic how many total nodes we have we have seven minus the number of nodes present in this connected component it is just one so that means 3 can make a pair with 6 other nodes, right? And how many nodes we have in this particular uh, connected component? It's just 1. So it comes out to be 6, right? Similarly, if we talk about this 1 and 6, so how many pairs 1 and 6 can form? Total 1 and 6 are 2 because total number of components here are this. Now, what are the count of other nodes? So it is 5. So that comes out to be 10, right? So how many total values are we getting? We are getting 12 plus 6 plus 10 that comes out to be 28, right? But one thing to notice here is that we are forming a pair of 0 with 3, right? 0 with 3 that was included in 12. Then again, we are forming a pair of 3 with 0 when we are considering this component. So it is 3 and 0, but these two are repetitive, right? So we need to count this only one time. 
so that means in this final answer actually each edge has been counted twice that's an invisible edge right the the pairs that are being made in the question so what we'll do is just divide the final answer by two okay so this will be our approach uh, for the problem and all we need to do is a basic dfs right a basic dfs we have a set of integers that are visited so first we make an adjacency, uh, adjacency list that okay one is connected to these nodes two are connected to these nodes and so on so this is an adjacency list first we do this we have a set which contains all the visited node now we just run a basic dfs okay uh, we pass a node suppose we pass i so based on i we will see that what are the nodes that can be visited so that will form a connected component and based on that we'll do the calculation suppose this has x nodes so what will be the answer for this it will be x into n minus x where n is the number of nodes so this will be contributing to the answer by this magnitude so it will be x into n minus 1 so similarly we'll do for all the values and finally we return the answer by dividing by 2 if we look into the code so uh, if, if if we look into line number 36 so we can see first we are constructing the uh, uh, adjacency list right based on the edges so on line number 18 we are call uh, we uh, we are uh, invoking the function like the function is invoked that is present on line number 18 and in this uh, what we are doing is that we are using a map uh, where integer is the uh, sorry the key is the uh, the node number and list is the uh, basically the number uh, the nodes that are connected to this particular uh, node right uh, this particular node yeah so this will be an adjacency list and finally what we do we the, the to, final answer will be total pairs now we start doing um, dfs from line number 38 so we see whether the current i that means the current node is visited or not so initially nothing is visited all we need so what we do we have a global variable answer uh, defined on line number two uh, so this is used so that we can count that how many nodes lie in this particular component right connected component now we call dfs of i so we go to line number five uh, line number five the current number is passed now what we do is that we add this to the set uh, we increment the answer because what we do is that uh, okay this is this is an extra node in our uh, this particular connected component then we see what are the neighbors okay it has become just a second i'll just refresh it yeah. so it so this is the neighbor now we what we do for all the adjacent nodes that are that are present for this particular current index what we do is that we visit we, if that has not been visited we just visit it we call the dfs and then we are uh, good to go right we do this until uh, we we have consumed all the nodes in this connected component now finally so on line number 42 we can see that we have included that in, in the answer total pairs plus equals to answer that means number of nodes in this current connected component into total number of nodes minus answer and finally we just divide it by two and return the answer right so just the basic stuff i would say if you are familiar with dfs then it will be not a tough problem for you uh, just i would say the question says that you need to implement something so a basic dfs stuff hope you learned something new from this video do subscribe to the channel do support this video by giving up a thumbs up and stay tuned for other lead code contest videos uh, take care